Hey Dudleys, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into dos topics. I want to talk about Jimin being insulted and a little bit attacked online. This happened after some of the spoilers for the album came out and we'll talk about what those are. I also want to get into the director kind of urging or asking Jimin to stop dancing. This is due to an injury. So I'm excited to talk about these things because I have a lot to say and a lot of thoughts. So let's jump in to the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of any new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's get into it. Now the first thing that I definitely want to get into is of course Jimin being insulted or attacked online. It's been a while since I went over some of the hate comments and hate tweets and things like that, but today that is what we we are doing. Because it is one thing if I just read hate comments like, I hate Jimin, which how dare you? But it's like, fine, whatever, you can have bad taste. But if your comment is more on the racist side, and you are a racist person, then I have some thoughts. So BTS has been promoting their upcoming album. They've been doing this for maybe about two months now. It is going to be called B, as in be yourself maybe, be loved. And I just found out recently that their new single is going to be called Life Goes On. So a very exciting end of the month when it comes out. It is coming up soon, I cannot wait for it. And they've been slowly kind of posting little teasers and things like that. Posting little notes, doing appearances, and all these things to kind of get people more hyped. Get them talking about BTS a little bit more right before the album drops. So they even recently posted their concept photos. And I want to talk about Jimin's concept photos in particular. Big Hit tweeted out some photos. They were stunning to say the least. One of them had Jimin in this like gorgeous room. There was a bunch of flowers and he was just sitting there. Sitting there like a king. Flowers and these sort of things go really well with Jimin's kind of aesthetic. He he tends to embrace this type of style really, really well. And then you'll have times where he's more manlier, on the manlier side, where he shows his abs, his tattoos, those type of things, which is actually most of the time. He doesn't go too feminine unless he's doing more like solo work. But then there was this other concept photo that they tweeted out. You saw Jimin's face right at the camera, and a lot of armies had theories as to what this photo could mean. Because these are concept photos, and they're meant to be taken apart and kind of studied, get a feel of what the album would feel like. Some armies on the tweets there were saying this. Park Jimin feminine. Park Jimin masculine. They basically took the photo and divided it in half, and then you can see both sides of Jimin in this concept photo. They obviously look a little different. I don't know necessarily if this is what Big Hit was trying to go for, a masculine and feminine side, because I have noticed that sometimes photographers, they tend to ask you to pose like this with your hand on your chin if they want you to have more of a feminine look. Yet that is the manly side. However, if you do look at the feminine side of the photo, or what is supposed to be the feminine side, you'll see Jimin wearing a flower earring. So I can see a lot of reasoning behind that theory as well. But while definitely some armies were very impressed and loving this photo, there were also people who took the opportunity to bring another human being down. Those are what you call Satan's childs. Calling Jimin girly and not manly. Or that BTS in general looks like girls. And even if you're saying Jimin looks girly in kind of a positive way, it still can be kind of negative just because Jimin identifies as a man. You know what I mean? And these comments have been going on forever. Nothing new. The idea that all Asian men are women. I mean, it's just racist, right? Like most Asian men aren't gonna have a full-blown beard and they're gonna have softer looking features. It's definitely seen as more normal and desirable in Asian countries to have soft and clear skin, whereas in Western cultures, it is seen to be feminine and girly. In Western culture, it seems that men are like, no, I will not do skincare. I don't have skin. Jimin is definitely a mixture of both manly and feminine features. And then it kind of puts together to match his own little personal style, which is very unique. For those who don't like this, this is a big issue. Because even if you do think he looks feminine, let him look feminine. This doesn't involve you. If you don't like his style, you don't gotta wear his style. That's the beauty of the world. You don't have to just like copy people. You can do your own thing. I believe in you. Or perhaps you're just more scared that you will enjoy the Jimin stir as more feminine. You'll have a crush on him. Don't worry. Lots of men have crushes on Jimin. It doesn't make you gay if you got your socks on. But I'm not just gonna sit here and talk about just the negative comments. I'm gonna sit here and read some of the encouraging ones. One person on the tweets they wrote, I love how Park Jimin is living existence that challenges stereotypes and norms of masculinity and femininity. Men and women can both have feminine and masculine attributes. Being feminine and masculine doesn't limit to gender. It's neutral. Say it louder for the people in the back. Jimin's always trying to do something different, trying to do something new and innovative, and really tearing down those stereotypical walls. I'm hoping that maybe a few years from now, there will be a lot less issues kind of involving men looking feminine, and maybe more people accepting this. And I don't just mean 
like people accepting it because there are people who say, oh, that's really cute. I like that style. But then there are still women and other gay men who refuse to date men who look like this and only date men that look like lumberjacks because this is the more desirable trait to have. I personally love the concept photo. It's very inspiring. And it kind of makes me want to do a photo shoot like that. Get a bunch of flowers together, spend a good hour getting those flowers together, sitting there taking some pictures. He is such an artiste. That is artist, if you're fancy. See in comments saying that his body is girly or that he's too feminine. It's painful. It's hurtful to read. If he is too feminine, the man with six pack abs, what am I? Because I still call myself a man. Regardless, I hope Jimin doesn't see any of those. And if he does, I hope he doesn't take it personally. He is amazing. Jimin has been working super, super hard. This is something that we never really get a chance to see and something we really never get to know about until more recently. BTS recently released a BTS bomb episode. Basically, if you don't know, it's like the behind the scenes series that Big Hit decides to upload on the YouTubes. BTS has so many reality TV, documentaries, and those type of things, and they all have different names. But whatever name they have, it's basically just the behind the scenes of what BTS is doing. In this video, BTS was dancing to Black Swan, and then you saw the behind the scenes of him dancing, which you actually didn't see much of in the music video. He had a solo dance where he danced Black Swan, or maybe he danced Swan Lake. I'm not sure if this choreography was made up already or if it existed. I am not that cultured, okay? I am not as cultured as Jimin. But he begins dancing and kind of just lays on the floor after the dance is over. And you can see that he's just exhausted. He puts a lot of emotion into his dancing and you can feel that emotion. I don't know what he's emotional about, but I can feel it. I can cry with you on that floor. It seemed like a really long shoot and he seems to be dancing a lot, which is very interesting because not much actually made it into the music video, I don't think. I'd have to go back and check out the music video, but I'm pretty sure not much of it was in the music video. While Jimin is there lying on the floor exhausted, mind you, not just exhausted, he's also in a lot of pain. Like he had severe muscle pain kind of moving around. He was also wearing like a corset type of thing. I can't imagine that that would have helped him. But after he was done with the dancing and he was laying there, he asked the staff what they thought about the dance and if it was good or not. And this was to the staff that was monitoring it, so likely the director or something like that. And that person answered that Jimin looked really good. It seemed that the director was satisfied with the footage. And I would definitely imagine that after the director saw Jimin in his condition, also seeing that the dance was good, the director would not have wanted Jimin to continue and hurt himself more, even just doing it one more time. I mean, if I was that director, I'd be like, safety first, Jimin. You're good. It looks great. We don't got to do it again. But of course, Jimin sat there and reviewed the footage himself. And he said that he would like to go at it one more time. The director said, I knew you'd say that. And of course, I'm not shocked either. I think Jimin would do it a hundred times over if he could, just to make it perfect. But the director gave him a thumbs up and allowed him to go over there and do it one more time. And after doing it one more time, Jimin basically laid there and said, I could fall asleep right here. He should probably take a nap. He deserves it. He definitely has some really, really good staff around him to kind of give him a massage, massage his muscles and make him really not suffer. It's very painful to see something like this happen. And I feel like Jimin is always injured. Like, baby, are you ever just okay? Why is dancing so dangerous? Stop giving him dangerous dance stuff to do. Although it looks very cool. I will say that. I, of course, wanted to see what other people were saying about this. One person wrote, the biggest tragedy about this subline performance is that most of it wasn't even included in the music video. I could just weep. I agree, y'all. I don't know if they actually released it or not, but they should release the full dance, the full Jimin dance. Let us enjoy and watch that. I would definitely replay it over and over and over again. It looked very, very beautiful. Imagine just being in that much pain, which probably added to the emotion of the dance too. But imagine being in pain and they don't even use the footage. I would cry. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for reading comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of exclusive content over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. I can't really post that stuff on here due to copyright and they get taken down and things like that. So I do keep it over there on Patreon. So make sure you go over there and check it out. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel, helps make better videos. I have a video over there explaining that. So check that out. There's also two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. See you over there. Bye.